What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today we're going to be taking a look at Arrowheads, a new couch co-op game that just came out on Steam today. Roll intro. <laughs> Okay, so what is Arrowheads? I don't know, that's a great question. Let's jump in and take a look, find out together. So it says we've got arena, arcade, settings, credits, and back. As is typical for me, I like to take a look at the settings first to kind of get an idea of what kind of a game we're getting into. If the settings are crap, it usually doesn't bode very well for the game itself. So controls, we've got dash while moving, deflect while still, move, jump, aim and shoot. Seems fairly simple. Audio, we've just got a couple of options there with the announcer's voice as well. And for display, we've got 1920 by 1080 full screen, V-Sync, full resolution, shadow quality, we're going to bump up to high here, and anti-aliasing, I'm going to turn up to 8 as well. I'm going to turn the screen shake off because I'm not usually a big fan of that in games. Settings applied. I like the menu screen. It's functional, easy to use, and it's got some charm to it. So two to four players, fight against your friends on a couch or online or arcade. One to four players, fight against waves of enemy alone or with friends. Well, as you guys know by now, I don't have very many friends, so we're going to go ahead and jump in on this solo. Arcade. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and join, move, hold to shoot, jump, dash, and deflect. So there we go, dash or deflect, all right, very cool jump too. Let's go ahead and aim at this barrel over here. Bullseye. Well, not quite close enough. I can already tell you this game has a lot of charm to it. I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing so far. So start, customize, drop out settings. So let's go to customize here. Here's our character. Oh, okay. You can't use the directional keys on your controller. You've got to use the joystick. So there's quite a few characters there for purchase in-game. As far as the bows are concerned, we've got a number of different bows as well. So we'll stick with what we've got. And then the arrows, there's quite a few to choose from as well. So there's a good amount of customization in this game. So let's go ahead and hit start here. So here we go, we're going to eliminate the bears. Wave incoming. Getting your shot down right is on the challenging side, I'm not going to lie. Now we've got these bears now shooting at us as well. Alright. I am very much liking the art style here. Now it looks like there's some different environmental challenges as well. Oscillating power contraption. Ready to speak. Voice announcers having a good time, and I'm having a good time listening to them. Oh, what's why? Oh, wow. Okay. Very cool. I cannot activate the traps with my character, thankfully. So holding the high ground up here. Whoa. Oh! He got me. There we go. Got him. So let's try incorporating the dash a little bit here. <laughs> if this game was any more charming, I might get physically ill. It's crazy charming. Oh, it's getting pretty chaotic now. Oh! <laughs> Man, I really took a solid hit there. Okay, so there's this wheel at the bottom, and once you have filled it up... Uh, by killing enemies and garnishing enough of these golden... I'm hoping he comes up there. There we go, and he gets hit by the boulder. Let's go ahead and get these orbs. 
it's a little hard aiming upwards and downwards on the screen. Getting the... I knew that was going to happen. A boulder's headed for the... I'm sorry. You'll get him next time. <laughs> That's okay. I was trying to see if I could use the deflect to my advantage, but to no avail. Okay. So, the concept of this game is fairly simple, as most couch co-op games are. However, the execution is extraordinary. It's extremely well done. There we go. Okay. So, I got the high score. <laughs> but I'm playing by myself, so that's not a huge accomplishment. So, I earned 29 gold. The cheapest character is 250, and they go all the way up to 750. The bows go up to 500. There's a couple of $50 bows. Or 50 golden whatever those are. Now, I don't know if the levels are randomized. I kind of hope that maybe they have a couple more levels on display here. Ready. They do. Okay, very cool. I can only imagine that this would be bears aren't stopping. an bears immense stop. amount of fun to play with friends. Now, seeing things in 3D in this game is is actually a little bit challenging. And what I mean is here, I mean, you've got multiple levels and layers here. And to move in the 3D plane, and then to see where you're going in the 3D plane, is it's a little bit challenging. And not that challenging is bad, but I don't know if this is where you want your challenge to lie, is in trying to determine where you're moving on this 3D plane. That should be sort of second nature, unless it's an artificially incre uh, created difficulty to just raise confusion, otherwise the game maybe is too easy. It's almost easier to let the enemies come to you, and then just do quick short shots. And I will prove my point here. I'm letting these bears come to me. And then I'm just spamming off. And as long as I keep moving, they're having a hard time hitting me. Extra life. I'll take that. There's more bears coming. There's more bears coming. I don't know if you guys can hear the announcer or not, but I, I do really like the announcer. This guy's getting some nice shots off at me. Let's see... There it is! Got him. Go ahead and... So as the uh, rounds progress, uh, the enemies move quicker and quicker. Okay. Yeah, so you want to let him smash into... Uh, the terrain, and then once he's stunned, that's your chance to deal some damage on him. Gets fairly challenging as you go on. If nothing else, just because there's so much going on on the screen at once. Got him. I'm pretty happy with how that round turned out. I'd really like another one of those... Oh, rockets, huh? <laughs> I took a tomahawk right between the eyes there. Music's awesome. The art is awesome. The announcer is awesome. The gameplay is fun and, and different enough from what you know you normally see here. Um, that I feel like it really is offering something that's it's fresh. And that's hard to do these days. I mean, there's other games like this out there, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I can see where this game against friends would be phenomenal. And a real blast, too. I mean, I can see you really having some fun and, and getting into it. Let's check out our customization. So I got 73. So, just for kicks. Tribal Shadow Mystic. I don't think it's going to make any difference here. I really don't. But uh, just just for kicks, we'll go ahead and we will do one more. I don't know that we're even going to finish it out. But just to see if the bow is, feels any different or has any, any different feature to it. I'm not really anticipating that being the case. 
I was also curious to see. See, I can already tell I'm gonna like this level far more. I might be wrong, but it feels like the string may draw a little faster on this one. Again, that might just be misperception on my part. And... Ew, he's going for me. Got him. No, I didn't get him. Get away from me. Get away. Come on, special ability. Tesla coil. I like the Tesla coil a lot. Whoa. Nice. We, we took that round out quick. So there's actually 25 waves. So it is possible to complete this mode. And I have to say, I personally have always preferred survival modes that allow you to complete them. When it's just infinite, I feel much less encouraged to try and actually complete or to get as far as I can and I just end up just kind of grinding and getting sloppy quicker because there's no real completion for it. Oh, what a throw on his part. He got me midair. So once you have gotten to the full drawback on your bow, you lose a lot of your arch, and it's more of a, it becomes more of a straight shot. Nice. Uh, another thing that I'm not as crazy about is you have to be right on top of the golden orbs or whatever they are. So what do I think of the game as a whole? I think I've already pretty much summed it up. It's a lot of fun. If you're looking for a couch co-op experience to play with your friends, this is a great game to play. If you just want to sit down and play for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour uh, with a group of friends and have a great time, this game's phenomenal. If you're wanting to play online and have a little bit of competitive action with some guys that you know while you're sitting there chatting, another great option here. Is this game going to have longevity to it? Are you going to be playing this game a month after you start playing it? I doubt it. There's a few people that might really get into this and continue to look for other people to play with. I think for the vast majority of people, though, this is one where you're going to have it in your library, and every once in a while, you're going to pull it up, and you're going to be like, oh, that's right, and you're going to play for a little while, and you're going to enjoy yourself, and it's going to put a smile on your face, and then after that, it's going to go back into your library for, for a while and, and gather some more dust, which is really sad in all honesty, because the production quality and value here is very high. I'm really, really impressed. This is the kind of game where it might be neat to have a story mode where you're going through uh, a level and you get to use the same mechanics that you've got for the for the entire game to fight some bosses and things like that. This game actually has a lot of room for growth and potential if they decide to go that direction. They could release a DLC single player and I would definitely throw down some money to get to play that just because I really enjoy what's on offer here. I love the charm. I love just the feel of this game. It makes me feel like a kid again. It makes me feel like I'm having a blast and I'm having fun and that's so important for video games. That's pretty much going to do it for me today, guys. I know this is a quick one, and that's okay. I am okay with doing a quick video. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out for a little while. I've got two more videos that I expect to be putting up within the next 24 hours, so they should be coming pretty fast here. I appreciate any feedback that you guys can give me in the comments section below, letting me know what you think I could be doing better and how I could better bring you content. So as always, thanks so much, and have a great day.